You guys may have noticed that I've been talking a lot about being much more discerning with my purchases for 2019. I'm doing the five piece French wardrobe challenge, which means I'm limited to 20 key pieces throughout the year. Basics don't count, but essentially it's made me rethink how I approach shopping and how I approach adding anything new to my wardrobe. I'm really being a lot more careful and considered. And today I wanted to talk through some of the things that go through my mind before I consider buying something. The first thing that I take into consideration is cost per wear. So this is essentially how much mileage I'm going to get out of an item. I think you guys know if you saw my entire wardrobe video, which I'm going to pop up here, I do have quite a lot of clothes. So I'm pretty realistic about how often I'm actually going to be able to wear something once I add it to my closet, given I have quite a bit of choice already. But essentially, if you aren't familiar with the phrase, cost per wear is the price of the item divided by how many times you are going to actually wear that piece. It can make a $50 sweater from Zara seem a lot more expensive than a $400 sweater from Equipment. Because if you only wear that Zara sweater two times, the cost per wear is $25 for each time that you wore it. Whereas if you wear that one from equipment, say a hundred times, then the cost per wear is $4 each time that you wore it. And so you can definitely see you're getting a lot more value out of the more expensive purchase, even though it costs a lot more to begin with. Obviously it's not always going to ring true for every single expensive purchase. I know I speak from experience and can say that's certainly not been the case, but it's just one of those considerations that I try to keep in the back of my mind whenever I'm thinking of buying something new. The second one is quality over quantity and it kind of, I guess, flows on from my first point. I'm trying to look for really good quality items that are going to last a long time rather than going for loads of the same item. So I want something that is going to be relatively hard wearing for what it is. And when I say this, what I mean is given the proper care, it's going to last a long time. Obviously, for me, the things that I tend to wear the most are things like t-shirts, silk camisoles. I also wear a lot of cotton shirts and also knit sweaters in the wintertime. And with the proper care, I expect them to last me years. And I want to have them in my wardrobe for a very, very long time to come. The other thing with quality over quantity is I have found from my experience on the times that I have really wanted to splurge on an item and I've just bought something that's a bit more affordable to kind of make do in the meantime, I've never been as happy as when I actually splurged on the real thing. That's kind of where I've made a much more better investment when you talk about loose wardrobe terms in my closet. Which only makes sense that longevity is the next thing that I think of when I'm adding to my closet. So do I want to wear this in three years time? If the answer is no, then it's probably not the best purchase. If you are someone who likes to dive into trends, then your mindset towards this is going to be very, very different. But for me, I like very kind of classic, minimal sort of style, things that are going to be timeless enough that I'm still going to be wanting to wear them in a very long time. Uh, that's sort of how I tend to approach shopping for my wardrobe. And it's one of the key things that I really like to think Think about whenever I shop. The next thing I think about is does this work with my personal style? I am still on a little bit of a style journey, not a massive one. I've kind of really identified what it is that I do and don't like, but there are some sort of minor tweaks here and there that I'm trying to incorporate into my closet. And so one thing that I really try to think about is is this really me? Is this something I'm going to feel comfortable in? Um, is this something that's going to make me feel really great? Am I going to feel amazing in this? And does it really complement what I already have in my wardrobe? Now, fit to me is absolutely everything, and I think it can make the difference between something looking good and something looking great on you. It's part of the reason why I think it's really important to find a great tailor who can really personalize the fit of certain items for you. The one thing to keep in mind with tailoring is that they aren't magicians, they cannot perform a miracle, so you really have to keep in mind what they can and can't do. So if something is pulling in all the wrong places and you're kind of looking at it and you're going, there's no way that someone can actually fix this without adding more material to it, it's probably not something you should consider adding to your wardrobe at all and I would suggest just keep on looking. I'm sure the right thing will pop up eventually. This next one is one that I struggle with all the time, but it is ask yourself, do you already own this? If you've already got something that is really similar in your closet, do you necessarily need another one? The answer is probably no. You could probably make do with what you have. I find the more choice that you have, the harder it is to combine an outfit in the morning because you're just overwhelmed with what you have. Generally, as a rule of thumb, I try and avoid multiples where possible because what I've found from my own experience is that 
I usually end up gravitating to one and it's the one that is my favorite. So if I've got one key piece in each style, I find that works best for me. Obviously my own situation is a little bit different because I do share style videos and stuff like that and I want to be able to share with you the best basics. So uh, I do find that that ends up contributing to me having a few multiples. But if I had just a normal person's wardrobe, then I would just go for one of everything. The last thing, and personally, I think this is probably the most important point, is can you afford it and is it in your budget? Now, I really think this is something that is quite often overlooked, but I really do not think it is worth going into debt for a shiny new wardrobe edition. It is so much better and so much more rewarding to actually buy things in cash. I tend to allocate funds to my wardrobe last, so that's after all of my bills and after setting aside money for entertainment, going out with friends, going to the movies, etc. Because those to me are much more important than shopping for my closet. If you guys would like to see a whole video on how I sort of budget for my wardrobe, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, as I said, I just think it's the most rewarding way to add to your closet. I also think it develops a really healthy relationship with money if you shop that way in cash only. So those are all the things that I keep in mind whenever I'm shopping or adding something new to my wardrobe. I'd love to know if you've got any other things that you like to think about before you buy something new down in the comment section below. If you did enjoy this video, I would love it if you hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and you want to see more fashion videos from me. I'll see you guys next time with a brand new one. See you soon. Bye.